Hey everybody, we're checking out the Array 4 Pro today from Migro, and let me tell you, this thing really surprised me. Thank you to Migro for sending this light to test. The Array 4 Pro is a 4 bar, 265 watt dimmable light intended to flower a 2 foot by 4 foot grow space. Each bar is made up of 168 white sole semiconductor LEDs in 3500 K color temperature and 12 Osram 660 nanometer reds. The driver is a Migro branded unit that can dim from 100% down to completely off. This light is designed to be run very close to your plants. In fact, Migro recommends a hang height of just 6 inches above your canopy, but you'll soon see that the large spread between the bars produces some pretty even coverage. Here's what you get in the box. A little info card and a link to some build instructions. A pair of ratcheting rope hangers with a special clip on each. Three brackets to attach the bars together. The four bars, which I'll spare you about five minutes of video of me trying to get these things out of the box since I discovered they're wired in pairs beneath this little cardboard insert. And finally, the driver and an extension cable to connect the driver to the lights. Assembly takes just a minute or two. There's a channel that runs the length of the bars on each side, and you just insert the bracket into the channel on an angle and then lift it up into position. The extension cable has two connectors on one side of it to feed the two pairs of bars and a single connector on the other end to attach the driver. The special clips that come with the ratcheting hangers are designed to grip onto the power cable that's attached to the lights. I think this is clever and since the cable's very robust, I have no doubt that it'll hold strong. The assembled light holds together well, but it had more flex to it than I expected, and the ends do sag about a half inch or so. I was a little bit concerned that the brackets might slide in the channel or come out of place when I had to move and tilt the light to get it hung up, but I was careful and I got it into position without any issues. Dimming is done via this knob that's built into the side of the driver. So you guys want to see some impressive coverage in a 2x4? Check this thing out. I did all my testing with an Apogee SQ500 quantum sensor on my automated PPFD test rig and gathered measurements from a hang height of 6 inches all the way up to 36 inches at 2 inch intervals. All testing was done with the dimmer cranked up to 100%. I'm going to go through the measurements I collected now but feel free to dig deeper into this on my new website ppfdcharts.com where I'm building a database with all the lights that I test. You can sort based on several different metrics and view all the charts that you'll see in this video in high resolution. After a 30 minute warm up, the bars measured about 43 and a half degrees Celsius and the driver measured around 46 or 47 degrees Celsius. Power draw from the driver was measured at 264 watts AC, which means you're getting about 33 watts of power per square foot of grow space before you factor in the conversion losses on the DC output side. At the recommended hang height of 6 inches, the average PPFD reading in a 2x4 reflective space was 923 micromoles per meter squared per second. I'm just going to call this PPFD from now on so I don't have to keep reading all that. That's pretty nuts for an average PPFD, but the thing is hanging quite close to the canopy. However, the really impressive thing is how evenly the light is distributed across the space. In this case, 87% of the canopy measured over 700 PPFD, and 33% of it measured over 1000 PPFD. If you use the Migro method to convert the PPFD measurements to what Shane calls usable PPF by multiplying your average PPFD by the surface area of the grow space in meters, I get a value of 683, and if I use this and the power draw that I recorded, I get an efficiency of 2.59 micromoles per joule for this height. You can see on this PPFD chart that at this height there is some slight hot spotting going on beneath the bars. If I take the lowest reading, which was 551 in one of the corners, and divide it by the highest reading, which was 1301, we get what I'm calling the coverage uniformity, which is about 42% at this height. 
So not great, not terrible, but we can improve it a lot by raising the light just a little to even things out without sacrificing too much intensity. At an 8 inch height, uniformity jumps to 60% and the average of the space is 892. And if we take another step up to 10 inches, uniformity becomes 70% and the average is 863. At this height, 252 out of the 253 measurements taken were higher than 700 ppfd, which is amazing. In my opinion, 10 inches is the sweet spot to hang this light if you want to maximize spread and ppfd. The highest reading here comes in at 981, and the lowest and only sub-700 measurement was in the very corner at 687. If I average all 4048 measurements taken from all 16 heights that were tested, the global average PPFD for this light is 754. That's encompassing every data point from 6 inches all the way up to 36 inches. I'll quickly cycle through the rest of the heights just to show you how the array does from greater distances, and again, if you want to view these with better resolution and see the stats, go check it out at ppfdcharts.com. All right, there you have it. In summary, the Array 4 Pro is a very capable light with excellent spread over a 2x4. I was leery of the 6 inch hang height recommendation before testing this thing, wondering why it needed to run so close to the canopy, but I was glad to see that it was able to put up impressive numbers at more common hang heights too. The light was easy to build, though it does feel a little bit awkward to carry since there's a good amount of flex to the brackets that hold the bars together. I was concerned that the brackets might slide in the channels they lock into, but they grip well and didn't move on me at all when I moved the light around. At the time of writing this, the Array 4 Pro is priced at $429 USD, which I think is a pretty attractive price for a 2x4 bar light. That's it for this one. Thanks as always for watching and please consider subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more lights tested and we'll see you on the next one.